Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter an issue where the Windows Driver Foundation service is using CPU around 100% or causing your system to freeze and hang, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or watch the solutions mentioned here. The first solution is to run the Windows Update to make sure that all patches and fixes are pushed to your computer if at all needed. Then use these troubleshooters for maintenance diagnostic and performance diagnostic. You can copy the code from the article. Press Windows plus R to open the run window. Paste the code here. Hit enter. It opens the system maintenance troubleshooter. Click on next to run it. Similarly, for the performance diagnostic troubleshooter, paste it in the run window, hit enter and then you can run it if you have that option. Next, if this doesn't help, it could be because of the interference by a third party software. And to make sure that that software does not launch upon startup, you can troubleshoot your system in clean boot state. Press Windows plus R to open the run window. Type the command msconfig and hit enter. This will open the system configuration window. Go to the services tab. Check the box associated with hide all Microsoft services. Click on disable all. Make sure that none of these services are checked. Click on apply and then on ok. And you can select to restart your computer. Next. You can consider removing all peripherals from the system because whenever a peripheral is connected to your system, either through another port or even through USB, then it may push drivers and functions into the computer. So just to isolate this issue, you can consider removing the peripherals temporarily. Lastly, you can consider updating and reinstalling the Wi-Fi drivers. Press Windows plus R. Type the command devmgmt.msc and hit enter. In the device manager window, expand the list of network adapters. Right click on the wireless driver which would say something like Intel, wireless, AC and then a number. And select update driver to update the wireless drivers, the network drivers on your computer. And this should help you resolve the problem. If the issue still persists, go to the original article on the Windows Club, scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.